Hi everyone, so the purpose of this video today is to share with you how I transitioned as well as some transitioning to natural hair tips. Um, one of my new subscribers, Chanel Swan, requested that I do this video, so this video is dedicated to her. Now, first things first, um, the first thing that you need to do is to decide if you want to be a long-term transitioner or a short-term transitioner. Now, when I initially um, decided to go natural, I said that I was going to be a long-term transitioner. I was just going to trim the, um, the relaxed hair off as it grew out. There was no way I was cutting my hair off. I had never worn sh short hair or um, any short haircut besides maybe like a long bob or something like that. So there was no doubt in my mind that I was just going to be a long-term transitioner. However, during the transition process, I changed my mind and got a little bit harder than I thought and I transitioned for seven months. So the first thing that you want to do is decide if you want to be a long-term transitioner or a short-term transitioner. And the hairstyle that I wore right before I transitioned is this style here. So from months zero to four, I did roller sets. And the typical routine I would do would be to wash my hair, deep condition, and roll my hair up every week. And for the first couple months, couple months and a half, I use the pink rollers and the black rollers. I would use the pink at the top and maybe a few of the black um, at the bottom for a tighter curl. Now it's very important that you want to deep condition your hair because the demarcation line makes it very vulnerable to breakage. So you want to make sure that you deep condition your hair and do a style that's uh, stress free. That's why I went with the roller sets. Now, toward the end of those four months, when it got to be a lot more new growth um, and it really wasn't looking really good with these rollers, I would use my smaller rollers, which are the green rollers. And it helped um, kind of blend the two textures because the, the roller was, uh, the curl was smaller. You couldn't really tell um, too much about the new growth. So, um, yeah. Just remember to deep condition your hair and roller set it, try roller sets for um, just zero to four months. month um, just the regular roller sets became much harder the two textures became more frustrating so I began to do flexi rod sets and I would do different sizes um, sometimes I would use my red rods sometimes I would use my yellow rods and I think even one time when I went to go get it professionally done um, the hairstylist used the blue rods so um, that is an alternative to the roller sets the flexi rods and it's great at blending the two textures it gives you the effect of the twist out on natural hair if you ask me um, so that is a great style to do and I did that style all of month five now here are some um, photos of what some of my flexi rods look like Okay, 
so month six and seven I decided I just couldn't take it anymore the two textures were frustrating me too much and as you may know I love and enjoy to do my own hair so um, it's more economical and I like I just like doing my own hair so what I decided to do was to get sew-ins and I said okay if I get sew-ins I'll just have to maintain the front section of my hair and so that's exactly what I did I got sew-ins and all I had to do was worry about the front section of my hair when I when I got the sew-ins the majority of the time all I did was roller set the sew-ins again with my pink and black rollers and I would just um, roller set this front section and do as much as I possibly could without flattering it to blend the two textures so that is an option or you could do braids um, for your sixth and seventh month but um, sew-ins were great for me they were stress-free because the the fake hair um, you don't have to worry about uh, the new growth on that part so sew-ins are a great alternative and here are a couple photos of how I looked with my sew-ins So at that point it was pretty short and I had to come up with different styles. Um, I had to bring out all my headbands and, and when I was out at different stores and buying things I had to remember to get cute hair accessories and just do what I could do to play it up. Um, I had to bring out all my cute earrings and all the hundreds of accessories that I have. Um, I did that just to play it up. But um, <clears throat> after the initial shot, I was fine. Um, I got so many compliments and so many people loved it on me. So that made me feel good as well. So um, I would say just go ahead and chop it off after um, you get to the point when you're frustrated and you just really don't want to worry about the two textures anymore. <laughs> Okay, so that concludes um, how I transitioned and my transitioning tips. I want you to keep in mind that everybody doesn't transition the same way. Um, people take different routes in transitioning, but just to remember when you transition, remember to deep condition your hair, um, try to find styles that will blend the new textures, and um, stray away from straightening your hair. Um, the first time I, I transitioned to natural, I was a straight natural so all I did was straighten the new growth and this time around I, I just wanted to take a different route so I guess depending on what you plan to do with your natural hair just take care of it remember to deep condition it and come up with different styles so you don't get bored or so you don't get frustrated and go back to a relaxer okay I'll see you guys in the next video